out the ladder but am i really a giver if i don't give to myself don't take care of my health care for everyone else i usually give Spence. away my best but get yes. into this reset Spence. get into this reset get into this reset take a skill for something called the get ladder. into this reset yeah yeah, we've got eggs. Ah, eggs. Honey, we've got honey. We have three cans of tomato onion mix. In case you don't know this one, it's great. If you are tired of cutting up your own tomatoes and adding them into your stews, just buy this. It's easy. You just throw it in there, and then you add your seasonings and your peppers and your spices, and you're good. It's quite early in the morning, hence why the lighting is a little bit on the orange side. It's half past ten. Hey ho! Uh, I collect these little shop minis because my sister is having her own little uh, what do you call this? Checker store at home, so she's gonna love these. First we've got, I actually like opening them up, so let's, we'll look at that just now. Anyway, it just reminds me of childhood, uh, decided to go with Nescafe Gold this time. I really do like the classic Nescafe or Gold, it doesn't matter, we drink Gold at work. So I still really do enjoy it, so I decided to go with Gold because it was on special. Instead of 179 I think it was 139 or something like that. Are we going to talk about, are we genuinely going to talk about how expensive coffee is and eggs? Got my favorite bread, the Logi I Dumpy with cranberry bits. Love that. And then we've got the egg bird eggs. You remember I told you guys, if you live alone and you hardly eat eggs, just buy six at a time. Buy them when you need them because having 18 and having them last, I don't know what the shelf life of eggs is. I think somebody in my comments said that the shelf life of eggs is about, what did she say? Three to six weeks, four to six weeks, something like that. But um, 18 for me can even sit longer than a month. So, because I don't eat eggs every day, but then when I want them, I want to have them. So I typically just buy six. I don't go crazy she Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help.
immediately flee my presence, which was probably more than I deserved, given that I had so far threatened his life, mm. brandished rose petals at him, and showed it's him ghostly so hands. Good. Opening it's my laptop, so good. Opening my laptop, the first thing I saw was, mad wizard of Boone arrested. I blinked a few times, and then decided that, hell, I wasn't going to get anything else accomplished today. I might as well read about my infamous ancestor. Finding information to Oh, I haven't had this in so long. That's so good. Mm. Okay, hello. That is too good. Sweetie, slaps, okay? Mm. Mm hmm. Get some damn sense. Hello. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Um, so, just got back from the shops as you saw earlier on i was marinating some chicken because i want to make sweet barbecue sweet and chili because i'm going to add the wellington's sweet chili sauce to the marinade but i want to make some sweet chili wings with the salad for dinner tonight 
it is Friday. I am home. I feel so good. Guys, I haven't had this. And you know how much I used to drink this thing. Hmm? I haven't had this since... I was with Mansi. Hmm? Well over two or three months. Mm hmm And as you guys know, I'm not really crazy about talking about my weight journey and whatever on here but i will mention girl but i will mention a couple of things so yeah in the last i don't know from sometime last year uh or the year before i i had gained like around seven kilograms and it's seven kilograms away from my happy weight and for me i'm not okay with that everything still fits fine i'm okay da 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 and I was actually okay with it for a period of time, but I just don't like how it makes me feel. So I'm jumping onto the healthy eating bandwagon at the worst time of the year. Because I think to, it's the nicest time of the year to jump onto healthy eating is winter. But I'm jumping onto it at the, well, spring, summer could be great because it's, it's salad season as well. So anyway, I'm jumping onto that. Um, because I just miss eating clean. I've been really slacky. <laughs> I won't even lie. I've been really, really slacky with my healthy eating. And it's just generally because my mental state wasn't in the best place for the longest period. And so now I just feel like I'm ready. I feel good now. I am much better than I was months and months ago. I feel good. Um... Life is good. It's, it's all right, you know. Uh, lots of things are coming together, which I just don't like to talk about on here. But lots of things are coming together in my personal life, in my work life. Like, things are changing. There's a change. There's an air of change. There's change in the air. Some way, somehow, there's change in the air. So, and I'm happy for that. So I wanted to share with you guys before I dip out, because I am going to dip out. Mm -hmm. Dip out means switch off the camera. I am going to switch off the camera, but I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I got books <laughs> from Jonathan Bow Publishers, of course. I got them books, child. Uh, I think you know that in the last vlog i'd actually gotten books from penguin random house so they are over there and i need to actually take a picture of those and uh post it on instagram just to show my gratitude that they keep sending me books it's the sweetest thing boob boob um so these is from jonathan ball publishers <laughs> i'm so excited about this okay so if you've been following me for years and years and years, you'll know one of the very first books that I read as soon as I started going on my reading journey thing. Uh, I started reading a lot and putting all that content on my channel. You will know that there's a book that I read by Abi Dari called The Girl with the Louding Voice. I've got it somewhere there. I just don't want to fetch it right now. My leg is going falling asleep. I'm sitting on my leg. But I loved that book. And ever since I've been waiting... For Abidare to do sign, girl, do sign. She's brought Aduni back. If you've read that book, you'll know that the main character, the protagonist, her name is Aduni. She's brought her back, baby, in her latest book. So the first thing out is a book bag, which is so beautiful because, as you can see, the cloth is. Uh, oh, that's upside down. Sorry, my bad. That's how it looks. As you can see, the cloth is... Is it Nigerian? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm assuming it could be Oganen. What is that? Oh, Oganen. But it's beautiful. All I can tell you is that it's beautiful. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And so I roar. This is the cover of the book. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of picking it up. No, no. I want to tell you guys what I will be picking up, but I'm not going to read this now. But I'm so excited. And then the next one is Constanza. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
okay and this is by oh oh this is by abidare yes and then the next one is constanza because i love anything that's just give me roman empire give me greek roman mythology give me give me so i'm really excited about this one um rome 1636 so it's a historical fiction history calls her a muse temptress fallen woman and this is her story okay consti Ooh. okay should i read it okay fine <laughs> in the scorched city of rome the cobble streets with hum and gossip and sin constanza piccolomini piccolomini is a respectable young wife until she meets Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Bernini? Bernini? <laughs> the, the famed sculptor and star of Roman society whose jet black gaze matches his dark temper. From the second they set eyes upon each other, the fatal attraction is born. Their secret love burns with a passion that consumes them. But with every stolen kiss, Constanza Onyeti! Batum, baby! With every stolen kiss and illicit tryst, Constanza's reputation is at stake. Meanwhile, Bernini has a dangerous desire. He wants to make Constanza immortal. He vows to process, to possess her, not just in body and soul, and soul but also in marble. Okay. Oh, okay, so I think he wants to sculptor okay fine i thought he was gonna kill her then cover it sculpt and then put them i don't know what the hell i was thinking <laughs> oh then he unveils his sculpture of constanza she is exposed as his lover mocking the undoing of their affair and the beginning of a scandal because men are not good people do you see what I'm saying? Men are not, I, I, I've always been saying men are not good people. He does a sculpture of her. He shows the sculpt. Yeah, understand that. And then now everybody knows her. And a Constanza is a married woman. But does he care? No. Because why? Men are not good people. And say thank you so much to Jonathan. Oh my gosh. This sounds. Oh, this is how it ends. Guys, this sounds really good. Um, I think, okay. Betrayed, abandoned, banished. This was not meant to be the end of Constanza's story. But Constanza is no ordinary woman. From the ashes, she will rise. Okay, my bad. My bad, okay, my bad, my bad. Thank you so much to Jonathan Ball Publishers. Um, the book that I do want to read now, not now, now, but um, I'm currently reading, listening to uh, T. Kingfisher's The House with Good Bones. Oh, oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's a horror novel. It's about this girl named Samantha. She's grown. She's an entomologist, archaeologist, and she goes back home to her grandmother's house which is where her mother currently resides um and she's like 32 33 she goes back home because the her, her job had was supposed to take her to another country but something happened with that delayed so she decides to go back home to see her mother how long have i been talking okay that's fine she decides to go back home to see her mother when she goes back home uh things just start happening this was the grandmother's house but now the mother lives there. So when she goes back home, she realizes that her mother is acting kind of funny. She goes back home. The moment that she walks through the gates, there's a vulture on the, on the fence. A whole entire vulture. And she's like, what the? What's going on here? And then she realizes that her mother starts acting funny, starts acting weird. Um, certain things that her mother would do before, she doesn't do them anymore um then things start happening around the house she starts feeling things as she's sleeping feels like somebody's holding her when she's supposed to be alone in the house you get my chance and you know me i love i, I eat that stuff up i love horrors okay so i'm enjoying it anything by t kingfisher i love uh, the other one is what moves the dead i loved it 
Okay, anyway, so um, the one that I did want to read in conjunction with listening to that is Coco Miller's Blue Sisters. Now, I could, this follows three sisters who come back to New York, I think, following a, something happens, and they come back together, and it just basically follows their lives and what happens and the dynamic between them. Anything with sisters is great. Like, I'm happy. I just don't want to read the back, to be honest. But it's a sister-sister story. I've got two other sisters, meaning C3, not is girls. So I feel connected to this book. I don't know why, but I loved Cleopatra and Frankenstein. I really did enjoy it. I just felt like it was too long. It was too, but I really did enjoy it. So maybe not. Maybe pick up Constanza because I've already read something by Coco Mellors. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I need to decide now because I think I do want to read later on today. And then I popped into Diskim because the, the, the hand needed to top up on her skincare and of course i picked up the ordinary because i really seem to be enjoying it and these are niacinamide and hyaluronic acid and i picked them up because my skin seems to really be getting on with the ordinary mm -hmm. not even gonna lie but what is new also picked up uh, some wipes but what is new that i'm really looking forward to trying is the CeraVe because I've heard great things about CeraVe and Cetaphil. I've heard great things about those skincare, body care brands. So I picked up this because I wanted to try a new moisturizing lotion. So this is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 25. We love that. Um, for normal to dry skin, my skin is normal right now. It's a little bit, it gets a little bit oily in the summer right here but it's, it's fine it's fine um so yeah i really want to try this it's got a pump which i love i'm a big big lover of pumps so as you can see beautiful i can't wait to try it little bit you know but that's pretty much it so i am going to pack these stuff things away relax for a little bit it is friday um i am going to my sister's place tomorrow uh, it's me her uh mom and Hanya, our other sister it's just going to be like a girl's afternoon and i have been designated to bring to make and bring salsa so because i make great salsa i've been showing you guys in the previous videos i make great salsa so i'm gonna make salsa uh take a drink and we're gonna picnic it out in her garden tomorrow with just the girls of the family and this is something that we've said to each other that we actually want to do this um every month where one week one day is at my lady's place maybe the next weekend or the weekend after that is at my place Maybe the next weekend or the weekend after that at mom's place. And we kind of just do it in rotation like that. And I'm really... Why is the... This cloth doesn't feel nice on my skin today. It's, it's giving itchy. It's giving. And I never felt that way before. Anyway. Um, so we want to do that. And I'm really excited. I think it's something we should definitely do. And I'm hoping that we keep to it. Because we talk a lot and do we act about some of the things that we want to do? Nope. But anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I'll switch the camera on when I'm about to make the wings. And yeah, that's going to be much later on in the day, around 4 o'clock. So yeah, it's 1 o'clock now, just in case you wanted to know. It's 1 o'clock now. So let me go put these away. Oh, Constanza though. Let me check if it's on audio. Bye. It's getting on ahead. I'm absolutely losing shelf space. I feel like I need to buy another one of these and then put it together again like I did before in my vlog many moons ago. Okay? Boobs. What's going on? Many moons ago. I, I just, I don't know. And I get a lot of guys. So it's not all the 
I'm, I'm, I'm worried I must stop buying books. One, I get sent books. Two, I buy books because I read. But maybe you guys should let me know. Maybe I should do a giveaway. A book giveaway. How do you feel? You know? I think I might. I think I just might. But I'm running out of space. Just getting out of hand. And right here on... More. And they're just sitting right here. They're just sitting right here. So this is the bookshelf that you guys see typically when I'm filming because I sit here and when I do my sit downs and this is what you see. And I actually need to switch them up around because I feel like they've been like this for the longest time and you guys keep seeing all my rage and all of this. But this is the one that you see. These are the books that I got from Penguin Random House. Great. This is the most dysfunctional bookshelf that I have okay so dysfunctional I don't know what to do with it it started off right with the um, oh sorry it started off right with the nonfiction because right here we've got nonfiction books except the bell jar but it's kind of um, it is her life it's about her life and all of this so I suppose it would sit at nonfiction I don't know um, then we've got these ones here where it becomes dysfunctional is right here, right here. I just, I don't know. Then there's books there at the back. Then there's, you know, like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm really excited to have all of these. And some of them I got, this is Manchester Happen that I got from my friend, Cher. Okay. Like, I'm really excited to read all of these. I don't know, man. I don't know. Keep my hand in the fire Won't learn my lesson till I let it burn But never lose my desire Had it from the moment that I felt my first love I knew I'd never get enough of you I'll take the risk like I'm bulletproof Shot, Shots in my heart, but it pleads the truth Part of every little thing I do Like a tattoo Just like a tattoo love, love. I'll always have you Mm-hmm. 